Nicole, I sure appreciate you uh, consigning this uh, paint horse, this gelding. Um, why don't we start out with you just telling us a little bit about you and uh, what makes you tick? What do you do? Um, so I'm, I'm from Colorado and I show in the rain cow horse. Um, I rope a little bit and uh, that's pretty much it. Horses, yeah, yeah. horses take up a lot. <laughs> And you make the rest of us feel old, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and you're down in Arizona. What are you doing down there? I am. So I'm here for Art of the Cowgirl. Um, I have one in the sale here, and then I'm also showing my bridal horse in it. Okay. What is that? That's kind of like uh, y'all are doing all the three events plus the steer stopping. Is that right? Yeah. So it's just like the world's greatest for the NRCHA, except it's women only. So you steer stop rain go down the fence and herd work and then they take 10 back to the finals and it's a clean slate finals and you do all four again awesome well good for you that'll be fun anxious to watch it and see how it turns out yeah it's a good event yeah so all right um and maybe uh start off telling us a little bit about the paint horse you have on here sure so he's a really good gelding i think the world of him he's really really good minded and He's big and strong and pretty, and usually you don't find that type of package in one that wants to go to work every day, and, and he's the type. He's ready to work and always eager to please in the morning and easy to get along with, good to have around. Yeah, and uh, you said you had your buddy here, Matt. How do you pronounce Matt's last name? Matt Matusio. Matusio. He's, he's riding this gelding in the video here. And uh, maybe uh, just kind of talk through what all you've done with this horse and what all he's been exposed to. Sure. So he's been outside mostly, doesn't have a whole lot of arena experience, but really wants to ride around, wants to ride around soft, big, big stopper. Um, been used outside to check cattle, gather, doctor, sort, that type of thing. Um, really, really good gelding, wants to do good and everything you point at him, he does and without hesitation. Okay. And he's really... 16 hands he is 16 hands taped him okay so big big gelding he does is he, big, uh, gelding. big foot he does yeah he's got a ton of bone big feet solid feet um you know he shoes good no no blemishes like that and straight legged awesome. yeah no that, that's good to hear and i mean you watch him ride around and you watch all the things matt's done with him here that you've done with him on the video and um, you know, how much, I mean, I look at him and I think if somebody wants to go rodeo, pick up, whatever, they want to go turn him into a big time head horse, they can do that. Where, what direction do you think this colt should go? You know, I think he'd make an ideal head horse, but if you need something that's really reliable to use outside, he's going to be that type too. Um, and I mean, okay. as far as pickup horse goes, he'd work for that. Yeah, just kind of a neat horse. I don't, I mean, he he's one of those that are hard to find. He's the perfect age, all those things. Very, yes. And he's uh, bred well. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll jump back up here real quick and look at that pedigree. And uh, you can talk a little bit about it there, but it, I mean, he's definitely got some rope horse in him. Yeah, he is full of rope horses. I mean, that's what he's bred to do, and that's how he's built. Um, so, I mean, he's he's plenty athletic. He's bred to do it. And he's got the mind to do it. Yeah, that's awesome. So everybody you have, uh, we have on here, we have all the health and fitness. You can bid with confidence. This is a straight legged, good, honest horse. Yeah, have his papers here. You got the pedigree here. Um, you know, we went through, you can see the, the different pictures we have. You know, this colt does really profile nice. And I keep calling him a colt, but I mean, he's what, now five years old, but the perfect age for all this. So. Um, bidding's now open, so, uh, you know, get in here. We have it on proxy bid, meaning um, you can put in your max bid. It's only going to take it up in $200 increments, um, so just help everybody out a little bit there. But anyway, uh, anything else you'd like to add here, Nicole? Anything you'd like me to make sure we mention to folks anything else on this gelding? You know, I just want to stress enough, he is really, really good-minded. I know a lot of people say that, but he's the type that you never have to worry about what he's going to do. He is always going to show up and be ready to work. Awesome. Okay. Well, I, uh, once again, I appreciate you taking the time here um, to jump on here. Um, folks, if you have questions, get a hold of Nicole. Um, obviously, she's going to be a little busy down there, Art of the Cowgirl, uh, competing in uh, 
world's greatest cowgirl. I don't know what we're calling it, but something like that. And uh, but I'm sure she'll answer the phone or get back to you. Um, you can reach out to Amanda I or as well. We'll help you where we can. But uh, nice paint horse here. So good luck.